Captain C.A. Richardson here for Flats Glass YouTube. Today, I'm gonna to share with you a few tips about fishing artificials for tarpon on the beach. All right, when I target tarpon on the beach, especially early in the season, I like to take advantage of low light periods uh, in the morning and in the evening. Those are gonna be your two periods of the day when you're gonna have the most success. The two styles I like to uh, to employ to catch them is hard baits or soft plastics. In the last few years, these soft plastics have been working really good. Uh, one of my faves is to take a five inch jerk shad, uh, either in a pink color like this coconut ice or bubble gum, or get root beer, root beer gold, or solid black. All those colors work well. Purple's a good color. How I rig it is I Texas rig it with a six to seven aught Mustad grip pin hook. These are very robust, super sharp hooks. And you can glide this bait across the surface, just reel it slow. So the idea is to see the string of fish or see the rolling fish and lead the fish by 25 to 30 feet in front of them. You wanna cast out in front of them and beyond the line that they're traveling. That way as they move, you can reel the bait and get it right in line with them so it falls directly in front of them. You're not going to twitch it. You're just gonna straight reel it nice and slow, just barely turning the handle, bring it across the front of them. The idea that you want is to keep that bait somewhere between two and three, four feet below the surface where you're just reeling it. One of those fish are gonna see that bait as it comes in front of him and he's going to roll up and hit it. One of my favorite hard baits is to use the TTR series. This is a tarpon ready series. It's got beefed up hooks on it. It's made by Miralore. This is the tiny trout series. They make it in Purple Demon, which you've seen me use on the show before. It's a fantastic bait. Casts like a bullet. Both this color, which is the 18 tiny trout uh, color, the uh, Purple Demon color, and the white night color work extremely well. Again, I like to use them in low light or cloudy days with a little bit of wind. The other bait I've been experimenting a little bit with has been the 27 Miradine. This is the XL size version of the Miradine, or you can experiment with the XXL size of the Miradine. I believe that's the 37. And what I've been doing with that bait is I've been putting single inline hooks on that bait so that I feel like I don't have to damage the fish or I can take them off a little bit easier when the, when the fish comes boat size, I can take a, a hook out and pop one single hook out a lot easier than I can a treble hook. Uh, it's safer for you, it's safer for the fish. These baits are gonna be manipulated exactly like the jerk shad. You're gonna lead the string of fish by 25 to 30 feet. You're gonna throw beyond the line that they're traveling in. And as the fish move, toward it, you're going to gently reel it in front of them, never twitching the bait, just reeling the bait. The rod I'm going to use to accomplish all this is going to be the Tarpon Special from Falcon. This is the Falcon Tarpon Special. This is in the Coastal Clearwater series. Uh, you'll have to go to falconrods.com to look it up. It's an extra heavy action, eight foot rod. It's a 25 to 40 pound rod. It's got just enough tip to be able to throw an artificial lure, but enough backbone to land a tarpon. I've matched that up with a 5,000 Shimano Saragossa, and I've loaded this up with 40 pound high-vis braid. Attached to the high-vis braid, I have a section of about 48 inches of 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. That's what I'm using here. And I've got that connected with a no-name knot and a bimini twist. I've got a non-slip mo mono knot as a loop knot on this particular bait, but you can tie a straight clench knot or palomar if you'd like. But this type of setup is light enough, but still strong enough to land tarpon and present baits such as the jerk shad uh, in the five to seven inch size and these hard baits with relative ease. So when you're fishing the beach this summer, try some of these baits. I think you're gonna be surprised how many hookups you get with them. They sometimes outperform live bait. So I really hope that these little tips about beach tarpon fishing with artificials will work for you. Hey, this is Captain C.A. Richardson from Flats Class YouTube, signing off.